What's up guys, it's Rick Robbie, and today I am starting a new series. It's gonna be story time with Rip Robbie. Uh, this is where if you're a fan and you want to know more about me, get to know me kind of more on a personal level and shit, this is what this is for. This first episode of this, or first whatever of this, is gonna be about high school. Now I was just thinking about this the other day, and I was thinking about the worst thing I did in high school. Well, not not like the worst thing to get in trouble, but like the worst thing I felt bad for. So to get this story, you have to understand that I was not a very social person in high school. I had my set like five friends, like, and they, I'm still friends with them today, except for one of them, which is the one in this story. <laughs> All right, so there was me and my friend Max. Me and Max have known each other since fucking middle school years. And all my other friends basically moved away. Joe and Jesse, he was one of my friends in middle school. Uh, a lot of my friends moved away, uh, like at the same time. I don't know why it all just timed that way. Anyways, it was just me basically and my friend Max that was my best friend. And me and him uh, were the type of people that fucked around in high school. We, I mean, we went to class, we went to school almost every day, which is definitely a good idea. We just kind of, we, we were the kids that fucked around. We would not really pay attention in class. We always would have like a class or two together and we wouldn't do our work. We'd sit in the back just joking around, fucking around, messing around. The teacher would hate us. <laughs> For this story, what we would do is we'd had lunch together. And during lunch, the school lunch is never good. Like, we never ate school lunch. And we would fucking, we'd take mayonnaise, ketchup, any packet of sauce we could find. We'd take fucking thumbtacks. I think I have a few over it. We'd take thumbtacks. And we'd take the packet and we'd poke like three or four or five holes in it. And then when the bell rang for lunch to leave and go back to your next class, we would, we would, <laughs> we would walk out of the lunchroom. We would <laughs> go to this area where pretty much everybody walked through to go to their class out of the lunchroom. And we would take the packets of ketchup, whatever, and we'd throw them on the ground. Well, when a whole herd of people come in and there's ketchup packets all over the ground, it's fucked up that I'm laughing. I actually feel really bad for this. But a whole herd of people come and walk in, they step on the ketchup packets because they're not looking on the ground. Come on, it's high school, you walk into your class, you're not looking on the ground. They'd step on the ketchup packets and we poked holes in it, so a stream of ketchup, mayonnaise, whatever the hell we threw on the ground would just go. It would go on everybody. It would. I'm surprised we didn't get our asses beat. Honestly, dude, if that happened to me, I'd be so mad. But anyways, we're doing that, and we'd do that almost daily. Like, people would know it was us, because we'd be standing there, we'd start dying as soon as someone... Well, one day, the day we got in trouble for this, it, I, it's crazy. Alright, Max was dating this, this Hispanic chick, alright? They broke up, whatever. Anyways, so she comes down, her friend steps on it, it was a mayonnaise packet. We pick on Max to this day about this, but... It was a mayonnaise packet. He stepped on it, and the, the mayonnaise went all, I mean, I'm talking all over this girl's pants. I didn't even know there was that much mayonnaise in that mayonnaise packet. It went all over this girl's pants. This girl freaks the fuck out. She knows it was us. She goes straight to Max. Max, you motherfucker, you're going to clean my pants. Cussing out in Hispanic, Spanish, probably didn't even know what the fuck she was saying. But she was She was pissed, man. Max is like, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was Robbie. Puts the full blame on me, of course. This girl comes chasing after me, fucking yelling at me, you're gonna wash my pants. I'm like, I ain't washing your pants, what do you mean? It ain't, it ain't me, it wasn't me. I go back to class, the girl leaves and whatnot. Wasn't in class for 15 minutes, I knew this was coming. The principal comes in, he's like, Robbie, come out to the hallway. I go out to the hallway, I swore up and down it wasn't me, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm gonna check the cameras. Well, two days go by, Max gets in trouble. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to get in trouble, I'm about to get suspended, I'm about to I'm about to get in all sorts of trouble for this. Days go by, days go by, and I'm like, what the hell, I didn't get in trouble. Max is in trouble fucking do getting suspended and shit. They never caught me. I never got in trouble for this. Anyways, that's a quick little story for you guys to get to know me. That's the worst thing, I, well, that's what I feel like the worst thing is that I did in high school. I felt really bad for the girl. I mean, you're going through high school and... You get mayonnaise on your fucking pants and you have to deal with that for the rest of the day. Feel bad. I'm a bad person for that. Sorry. Let me know in the comments what's the worst thing y'all did in high school. I will read these comments. I actually want to know. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This will be a series, so ask me questions also in the comments what you want to know. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to be live streaming in a few minutes, so if you want to check out my live stream, Twitch is right in the description, always. Actually, I need to change it because it's my old one that got banned. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Rick Robbie.